Have you ever been afraid to use the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution? It burns. This pretty potion packs a punch and a lot of people are afraid of it. Now, some of us can use this completely fine with no problem, but we've seen what happens with other people on the internet. If you are one of the people that is terrified of putting this on your face and just not ready to take the plunge, I have some alternatives, some K-Beauty gentle options, and even some face masks that can help bridge the gap, getting you a similar, if not almost identical results of glowing smooth skin that helps with acne, fine lines, a little bit of minimal surface scarring, and maybe some potential low-level pigmentation, but without the potential burn that yes, this can cause. <laughs> the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution has gone viral, and for many reasons. Yes, it kind of looks like a vampire bloodbath, it's very fun to use, but it does take a little bit of skill. You know, this is the highest percentage of AHA and BHA that you can get over the counter without a medical license, without an aesthetic license, etc. BHA is that salicylic acid, which is oil soluble, and AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids, which are water soluble. These both work to exfoliate the skin chemically, so it's more even. But yes, uh, you, you can burn yourself. And what's the bitch supposed to do if you want to use some of these products without having that fear or anxiety of doing something wrong? Is there an easy your way to start because as we've spoken about multiple times in other videos you shouldn't just dive in with this on day one you should build up to it but what are some alternatives if you don't want to well the bees first off i'm so happy that you have left comments about this we have beautiful butterfly community members such as raiden who have specifically spoken about their fear of trying this product and that's when i got to thinking what about the sensitive skinned babies what about the people who want something a little different and i have specifically three options that i have tested and tried that have some very similar active ingredients but without the potential risk factor of what is to come and one of these is super gentle k-beauty absolutely beginner friendly and you know some of them are actually really cool purple galactic liquids that similar to the ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution you have to wash off your face should we start off with the easiest and then kind of build up to as they get more difficult or should we just jump into something that's slightly less difficult you know logic says go from lowest and graduate up but I say F your logic we're gonna do it backwards bitches, because she's drinking green juice and feeling powerful. Dr. Dre made me buy this green juice and I well, am hey not guys. mad about it. This is suspiciously similar to the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution, but it is slightly more gentle. This is from Paula's Choice and this is a beautiful uber galactic liquid. I <laughs> love this and not just because it's purple. It comes in this little gray bottle and it's very similar to the Ordinary because it is a wash off peel, but the ingredients are slightly different and they specifically say that it's 25% AHA instead of 30% and then that 2% BHA. And when I first purchased this, I thought that this was going to be pretty much identical. I thought is the 25 versus 30% really making that much of a difference, but it actually does. I noticed that this is substantially less potent on the skin. And um, even though my skin can tolerate both of these, my skin can tolerate this a little bit more. And this is more gentle on my skin and on clients and patients and other people's skin as well in comparison to this. Now look at how beautiful this pretty purple liquid is. I love using this right on the nose. There was actually a client of mine that I had who was terrible terrified of this and we had been building up different AHAs and glycolic acids and I was like I, I think I think it would be okay like do you want me to try it I'll have an acid neutralizer on hand like we can do that and we opted out against it and I had been testing this out so I was like can I put this pretty purple liquid on your face and she said okay this ended up being so gentle for her she had kind of combo skin so she's not overly oily whereas this is really good for oily skin but she's not overly dry where she had like a bunch of crusty flakes and this ended up being the perfect thing for her routine and she may still graduate to this in the future but like this was totally okay. Now it is still intense. It is still a wash off. You do not leave this on. And what actually makes this different is that this has mandelic acid and allantoin as well. Mandelic acid comes from bitter almonds. And although both of these have glycolic acid, which usually comes from sugar cane, although they both have lactic acid, which usually comes from fermented bacteria. And although this one has tartaric acid, usually from grapes, this one has mandelic, which is actually nice and a bit more gentle on the skin. The other thing is that this one has allantoin. Allantoin is very soothing to the skin. And while the Ordinaries has B5, it doesn't have anything that's more soothing, whereas this one does. And again, I really wasn't expecting that 25% versus 30% to make that big of a difference, but it actually does. And I think it must also be the concentration of other ingredients in here that are a bit more soothing. So although it's still pretty close to this, I would still consider this an advanced product. It is not uber advanced the way this one is. And if you feel like you're a skin intellectual and you want to try a pretty purple liquid, <laughs> put this on your face for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. It is 
fucking beautiful. Now, what if you want something a little bit more of a step down? You're like, whoa, this still seems a little bit advanced for me. I'm not a complete beginner. I've used some acids before, but I'm also someone who likes to have fun with my skincare. I'm not uber sensitive, but I don't want to use something this intense. Well, I would recommend something that you can leave on. Leave on products are usually a little bit more gentle because you are leaving them on for a long period of time. Whereas wash off or remove products, usually a little bit more intense because you know, you don't want to leave them on forever. This right here is something that made its way to my doorstep and I was not expecting to love it as much as I do. This is an Ahaba balancing mask pack. Now this is from the brand Nasific, Nicific. This is a K-beauty brand and the Ahaba is actually an entire line. Like they have serums, they have cleansers. There's just a whole bunch of Ahaba stuff and it is technically AHA, BHA, but out of all of the things that I have kind of tried and swatched and tested or put on other people's faces, this has been one of my favorite. This is the balancing mask pack. It says controls the sebum to make the skin fresh. <laughs> this comes with 10 different masks and I love that they are packaged like this. And these are basically a biodegradable sheet mask that has an AHA BHA liquid in it. Now the AHA BHA liquid in here is much more gentle than these two because again, it is a leave on, not a wash off. Why can't you open yourself? Why must I destroy my teeth and single-handedly keep my dentist Ow. in business? Anyways, this is much more gentle and it is a very wonderful serum. As you can see, there's like a lot left and I've never actually seen a transparent package before. And a package isn't everything, but it's definitely part of the fun. This is a much more lightweight liquid, whereas the original from The Ordinary as well as the Paula's Choice are much more viscous. This is a very, very light one and it actually has different fragrancing and scent options in it. So this is something for someone who maybe likes a sensorial experience. This is not for the most sensitive of skins. I would still say that this is, you know, a little intense, but this, instead of giving you, you know, more of like a peel, the way the Ordinaries or the Paula's Choice one does, this gives you a gentle overall exfoliation. It sits on the skin for a few minutes. You do leave it on once you take the mask off and it gives you this light hydration without overwhelming the skin. And it's really just a, a beautiful mask overall. What's also great about this is that in addition to the AHA and BHA, it has a whole bunch of hydrators. This has arginine and betanine, both of which are amino acids. So they actually hold on to moisture in the skin and this does does have allantoin just the same way the Paula's Choice one does, so it's very soothing. And this one does have lavender oil. That for some people is very soothing and they love it, but this is why I don't recommend it for the most sensitive of skin types because if you're super sensitive, lavender might not play well with you. This has salicylic and citric acid, both of which are at 100 parts per million. And overall, this is a very gentle, but very good option that is really fun to use. And if you're just a beginner and you don't wanna worry about having to wash something off, this is gentle, it is mildly exfoliating, it helps to resurface the skin, helps with brightness and dullness, but it's not impossible to use. And it still has that feeling of you're putting something on and taking it off, but you're not having to worry about, you know, some of the time constraints that these two have. Now, by far the easiest to use and one of the most soothing on skin has been this. I got this from Stylevana. I tried it out for so long and I keep on coming back to it. It's literally called the Miracle Cream, specifically the AHA, BHA, PHA 30 days Miracle Cream. And I will say in even less than 30 days, people see a difference in their skin with this. When I put it on myself or when I put it on someone else, it does take two to three days. Whereas when you wash this off or when you wash this off, like the results are pretty immediate because you know, you've just dissolved the desmosomes that are holding your skin together and you've just rinsed them all down the drain as well as the oils. But with this, it takes a little while, but you notice your skin starting to feel resurfaced. Those little rough patches and those areas that had more texture or weren't as plump, all of a sudden they're not as tangible anymore. And especially after 30 days, for those who do use it for 30 days, they're like, wow, this is a fucking amazing moisturizer. Of course, using it along with a sunscreen. Now it's also interesting about this is that PHA. So we have our AHA, our alpha hydroxies, our BHA, our beta hydroxies, but then we've also got PHA. These are polyhydroxy acids. These are like big sugar molecules and they are big, meaning they don't penetrate as easily. So they sit on the top of the skin, they work a little bit on the outside and they actually really pull in moisture. So this is also great for someone who's dry. This also has Centella Asiatica. So you may know it as tiger grass and it is super soothing to the skin. It has potential wound healing properties, antioxidant properties. And when you just look at this formula, it is hydrating, it is normal, nourishing. And yes, this is basically a leave on moisturizer that you can put on the skin, leave it on and let it do its work. The ingredients in here are impeccable. It has neem, it has tea tree, it has eggplant, so soothing for the skin. And it's also got ceramides. So while this is exfoliating and giving you some of those low level benefits that the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution does, it's actually nourishing your skin. It's giving you ceramides and hydration and building up your skin barrier as you are gently exfoliating and renewing the skin, giving you a glow, helping with texture, etc. 
Now, obviously this does take much longer to work than something like this, and it is a little bit more expensive. I think that this is like $30, but Style Vana actually has it on sale for $19 and then 19 cents, whereas this is about 10. But I find that this is absolutely wonderful for beginners or for people who are a little bit worried about the AHA BHA peeling solution. And if you either want to work your way up to this and you kind of want to go through different steps to, to build yourself up, or if you're just looking for something that gives you those results and you're okay spending 30 days and letting your skincare soak in and using it over time, this is f***ing amazing. I absolutely adore this one. It does have a light scent. It smells almost fresh. Is it like, it's not like a toothpaste smell. All I'm smelling is my green juice. I almost want to say this smells like a Listerine strip, but maybe I'm just smelling my breath because you brushed her teeth before she came to see you today. This does have lavender and orange oil, so be aware of that. It is not completely fragrance and essential oil free, whereas the Ordinary's is. But I do find that this is very gentle. It's great for more sensitive skin. It is absolutely wonderful. And even the turmeric in here is slightly balancing and brightening to help further even out a skin tone. This is wonderful. And if you wanted to, you could use, you know, multiple of these at once. You could start with one and kind of graduate your way up, or you could just jump straight into something that is slightly less than the Ordinary's peel and see how your skin reacts to that and see how it goes. Make sure that you do take before and after pictures just because that is super essential. Make sure that you have, you know, water or a sink on hand in case it starts to burn, in case you're allergic to an ingredient you didn't know about. You can rinse and flush, but hopefully that won't happen to any of us. And if you do want to take the plunge with the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution, it is not that scary. We've done videos on exactly how to build up to this, the precautions that you might want to use when first trying it, just have an acid neutralizer on hand. But overall, this is one of my favorite skincare products of all times. And these are the three alternatives that come mighty close. Now I'm going to wash this purple goo off my face babies, but I love you. I hope this helped as it has helped so many people that I've recommended them to. And I cannot wait to hear how they work for you. Always be beautiful both inside and out. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video. You hydrated mother Cause I know you've been staying hydrated because I tell you every time at the end of every video and you do it because you are a smart skin intellectual. Ah, hydrated and exfoliated. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.